there's been a lot of questions about how effective microfinance is at helping people. Here to tell us is Vicki Escara, CEO of Opportunity International. Thanks for joining us, Vicki. Good to be with you, Amy. Thank you. So let's um, start with, let's say, an example of an entrepreneur you might help, and maybe you could mm -hmm. explain so people understand how microfinance works. Of course. So we work with entrepreneurs. We know that we have cre created thus far 12 million jobs. We have a goal of 20 million jobs by 2020. And the way it works is we start with a small investment of typically about $200. We ask that they be involved in a trust group because most of the people we work with do not have collateral. And so they must pay the loan back and if they don't then their group members do. The repayment rate is 98 mm percent -hmm. and 93 percent of the people that we work with are women. What's an example of a way that Opportunity has been able to really transform the life of a woman in one of the countries you deal in? Our savings products are one of the most impactful products that we offer, uh, both men but especially women because we know in most of the countries we serve that, uh, that people put their savings in can under mattresses, they hide their money. And so we have biometric technology that allows for fingerprinting to be used to get money out. A great example occurred when a woman's husband died recently in Malawi. And so his brother went into the bank to take all of her savings out and couldn't get it out because he didn't have obviously her fingerprint. Well, all of the women in her community were watching this happen. And the next day, there were flocks of women lined up the street to actually put their money into the bank and keep their savings safe as a result of that I example. What are some of the, the high-tech operations you're bringing to these places? So mobile money is so fascinating, Amy, because it gives us the ability to go into rural parts of India, Africa, the Philippines, Latin America and really provide banking services without setting up a brick and mortar bank. Mm -hmm. It allows us to provide jobs in rural places such that young people are not coming into cities where unemployment rates are very high. And third and equally important is it allows us to actually uh, reduce the cost by about 60 percent so we can do the work that we're doing for 60 percent less than it would cause or take if we were doing it through normal traditional banking means. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Amy.